Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. Got a really exciting one today, guys. This is from one of my favorite breweries uh, called The Brewery. Uh, and this is their bakery beer. This is an imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels. That's right, bourbon barrels with coconut and natural vanilla flavor added. This comes in at a whopping 13% ABV. IBUs are not listed, but um, I'm sure they're pretty low. I mean, this is definitely a malt forward beer, but they might be in the 30s to 40s range, but they're, you know, it's definitely not going to be a bitter beer. Uh, I love the label design, guys. Look at that little shop, bakery, on the label. Some really cool colors, some nice uh, nice artwork. Um, the brewery is an excellent brewery. They're out of Placentia, California. Uh, thankfully, we get a lot of their beers here. And uh, they have an entire line of sour beers, uh, the Brewery Taro, which I absolutely love. Uh, if you haven't had any of those beers and you can find them, check them out. Tart of Darkness, Saison Roux, um, gosh, Sour in the Rye, which is aged in rye, bourbon barrels. Uh, excellent, excellent beers from this company. Um, so I'm not expecting anything different. As a matter of fact, I've already had this. Uh, we did an examination, a stout examination on my channel few days back. Uh, go check that out. I was joined by Michael Kormoroff uh, from New York and Tyler Mansell. Uh, and he actually had the Bourbon County Stout, which I'm just dying to try, but haven't seen it yet. Hopefully it'll make its way to my area soon. The national release date was Black Friday. All right, look at this beer, guys. Almost looks like a Guinness. You get a nice cascading head there. Very creamy. Um, deep beige colored head. Three plus fingers. Pretty much a black appearance. Um, goodness gracious. Sorry guys, let me mute my phone here. It's just making all this damn noise. All right, um, so very nice looking beer. Getting aroma. You're getting some nice chocolate notes. You're picking up on the coconut. Getting a little bit of Bourbon, bourbony qualities on the aroma. It does say that it has natural vanilla flavor added. Uh, it is aged in bourbon barrels as well, which bourbon, if you're a bourbon drinker, a lot of really good bourbons, they have uh, vanilla flavors because of the charred oak and imparts vanilla flavor to the whiskey. So I am picking up on some vanilla. Uh, I think from the barrel and from the added to the addition of vanilla to this, it's it's definitely on the aroma. So coconut, vanilla, chocolate. There's a nice roasty thing going on, like from the dark roasted barley malt. Not smelling any alcohol at 13%. Uh, very very pleasant aroma. This head is just almost like milk-like, just cream-like. It's just so pretty. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this one, guys. Cheers. Mm. This is what a stout is all about. An imperial stout. I mean, 13% alcohol. This is a beast of a beer you're getting all of that flay all of those um, notes that I was picking up on the aroma follow through uh, to the palate perfectly you're getting coconut like toasted coconut like um, if you've ever had toasted coconut that's what you're getting 
you're getting some nice sweetness like chocolate sweetness dark chocolate sweetness you're getting a nice little toasty element in the middle of the sip from the roasted barley malt the dark roasted barley malt but it's not burnt it's very very appetizing very enjoyable the head is sticking around nicely there's some nice lacing as well in the glass this is malt forward which I love a stout I feel should be malt forward yes you want some roasty toasty qualities but you want dark chocolate notes you want it to be malt forward um, or at least I want a stout to be more malt forward I don't want it to be super bitter um, there is a nice little bitterness on the finish to balance out the malt forward presentation but that's about it uh, and that's how it should be it's it's perfectly balanced it's not boozy at all um, as it warms it the alcohol does come through a little bit they do recommend that you drink this at 45 degrees I had this in the fridge for a couple hours so it's cold but this is a sipper guys so it will warm up as I sip down the glass and uh, the quality the character will develop and change a little bit uh, but not too much um, this is awesome this is one of the best stouts I've ever had um, I think my initial rating was like a 97 out of 100 I'm still pretty close to that uh, I might bump it up to a 98 actually it's definitely right there on the cusp of being world uh, yeah world class I've only had one stout that is better than this and that was the Goose Island Bourbon County Stout 2017 Northwoods edition with blueberry puree and almond extract also aged in bourbon barrels and that one I believe was 12.1 percent or 12.4 percent this one's a little bit higher on the alcohol uh, in the alcohol at 13 percent but it's masked very well um, there's a lot of depth of flavor like I said you get a lot of notes from the bourbon barrel aging you get the vanilla you get the coconut you get that nice roasted barley malt um, it's absolutely a beautiful beautiful beer the brewery has done it again they have impressed me time and time again I highly recommend that you buy this and try it it was like five sixty nine plus tax for a sixteen ounce can which for a 13% world-class, damn near world-class beer, is a steal. Um, I mean, the Bourbon County Stout, those run upwards of $22 a bottle in some areas. So this is really a still, and it's, it's just an awesome, awesome beer. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you see this beer, grab it up because it is flying off the shelves in my area. I actually bought the last three. On the shelf uh, today and I had one a few day uh, last Friday so this stuff is selling like crazy I don't know if it's available in your area but if it is buy it please 98 out of 100 for the breweries bakery Imperial stout aged in bourbon barrels uh, with coconut and vanilla flavor added you cannot go wrong with this beer guys if you like stouts you'll love this beer 98 out of 100, that'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.